UEFA are investigating the crowd trouble before last night's game between Porto and Inter Milan in Porto. There were some distressing scenes amid reports of around 1,000 Inter fans with valid tickets being denied entry. Inter Milan president Beppe Marotta has confirmed the club will lodge a complaint with UEFA. There had been a dispute earlier in the day over Inter fans being allowed to sit in the home end. And Marotta insists assurances were made by Porto that fans would be allowed in, but many were turned away at kickoff and directed to various entry points to the stadium, only to be told to return to where they were. Our pictures from Sky Italy, who were at the game last night, show around a thousand fans stuck outside the ground, many younger fans in tears, according to Marotta. This is what he had to say. He said, I saw footage of families who were Locked outside, children crying who had flown here from Italy. Football must re represent unity and joy, so this is a bitter page in what was otherwise a wonderful evening. We had met with local authorities this morning and they assured us that the fans would be allowed in even beyond those limits of the away section. Instead, this did not happen. These were, the, for the most part, families with children who certainly weren't here to perpetrate acts of violence but to support their team. I don't believe the situation was so serious as to ban their entry. We realise UEFA are not to blame but we feel that with a formal complaint we can prevent this sort of thing ever happening again. Well UEFA have released their own statement in response to the events outside the Estadio do Dragao. UEFA have been made aware that a large contingent of visiting supporters have procured tickets in home sectors of the stadium. UEFA regulations stipulate that 5% of the stadium must be provided to the visiting team in a segregated area for their supporters. The responsibility for the safe and secure management of spectators and associated ticketing policy are determined by the match organiser and the relevant authorities. Mitigation measures were discussed between both clubs. UEFA is currently looking into the matter.